if you're looking to strike your irons better, if you're looking to hit more greens, lower your scores, and all around just enjoy hitting your irons a little bit more, then today's golf lesson we are talking about exactly that. If you're sick and tired of hitting shots just like that have been on screen where we catch it thin or we don't reach the green, then there's a few things we need to talk about and that's what we're going to talk about right now. But guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome back to Get Good at Golf and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're looking to lower your scores with some daily content. So you'll see the shots on screen there. Obviously what we did was we had one of the golf balls teed up and that's one of the biggest things that I see from when people get into golf and when you are learning. A lot of lessons will get you hitting irons off a tee, just like this one here. And again, for me from there, it's gonna be very hard for you to hit it out of the center because with an iron, we want to hit down. But a lot of times we see people with irons trying to hit up on that ball, scoop it off the tee and try and get the launch from there. And that's when we start to get the fins, we get the tops, but we also get the ones where maybe your eight iron goes the same distance as your six iron and often it is extremely short. And as soon as we get a little bit of wind or you go and play some links golf or you go and play somewhere that is windy, you start to struggle because you haven't got the clubs, you haven't got the distance. So why do we say obviously about teeing it up? Yes, I want you to tee the golf ball up when you're on a par three, for example, but I want to make it so it's just above the ground, just so it's just above those blades of grass. So for me, obviously we're taking the grass element out there. We're not gonna get any different effects of obviously whether we've got wet grass underneath the golf ball and we're gonna be able to get straight into hitting the ball. Because after all, we want to hit the ball before we hit the turf. It is not the reverse way around. Whereas we see a lot of people catching the ground back here and that club working up. So straight away, yes, use a tee that make sure it's only obviously just above the ground. And if you're on the driving range, if you're trying to help anyone, then maybe don't get those big tees out that we all see on the driving range, all the ones up here, and try and get them hitting off there. Because although the videos are great, when we see them go straight underneath the tee and the ball just drops down or stays on the tee again, that's not helping them get good at golf. So again, get that ball teed down a little bit further. And then from there, we're trying to work on right. We're trying to hit down into the golf ball. So a lot of people often hit up. So we're gonna change one thing at your setup. So if you're not taking a divot, if you're catching the ball thin and coming up short, we're actually gonna get you to take your setup, make sure your ball position's correct. So go through your set routine. And we're actually going to get you just before you take that club away to hover that golf club. So we're actually bringing the club off the ground there. So Bobby's gonna get the perfect angle here. But you can see that's off the ground. That's now really towards the middle of the golf ball or if anything, towards the top third of that golf ball. And why am I doing that? Well, the main reason we are doing that is to get down into that golf ball. So a lot of people we often see is they'll get into this position and then they'll start to stand up exactly like that they're in this position here yes i'm turned with the chest hips have never got through and a lot of my weight is back and we've stood up into that golf shot so yes i've caught the top of that golf ball i've not compressed the golf ball and unfortunately this par three should be one of the easiest holes exactly here this is stroke index 17 this should be a relatively easy hole but we've turned it into a, a very difficult hole so i'm still going to have the tee there so yes we'll, let's use that tee but let's start to think, right, I want to be hitting down to that golf ball. So we want to make sure that when I'm making a golf swing, you can go through all your checkpoints. Yes, we've got that nice takeaway. Yes, I'm up to the top nicely. From here, we're down into delivery, but we want to make sure that I'm keeping my chest over the golf ball. We're getting into a position here. So if Bobby comes round here, you'll see that I'm actually still in the angles that I was at setup. So we're rotated through with the hips, I'm rotated through with the chest, but you can clearly see I've got the angles. I've still got some knee bend. I've still got my forward bend from my, from my waist. I'm not in this position here. Stood up like a pencil and not able to put pressure onto that golf ball. So let's think about that. Let's start to get you just hovering that club above there. And you can see straight away there, a nice draw straight through to my finish. And we've just got on there and nice and close to that flag. So nice draw there, a nice simple shot, but let's have a look at it. So here I've hit down on the golf ball, 
although I've gone right in between two divots, we can see that I've just brushed that turf, so I have still hit down into that golf ball. Just because we're hitting down into the golf ball doesn't mean I need to take a massive divot. I don't need to be that guy who takes a divot this long and that deep just because I've been told you've always got to hit down with your irons because that's what we start to see is people have been told to hit down onto the golf ball. So once you're somebody who maybe is catching it thin and maybe obviously topping the golf ball, then what we start to see is ball position sneaks back. Right, I'm definitely going to hit down on this because I've moved that ball position back and you'll be a lot, a lot steeper down onto the golf ball. Everything will get ahead and you'll see that club is still working down. That is going to create obviously a large divot and we might also well, we're going to hit that golf ball anywhere on the face. So we want to do this, obviously, not only on par threes, but even if we was, let's say, on the fairway. So I'm going to take it off the tee now. And let's just say this is a par four or par five. I'm hitting my mid iron, my eight iron here, straight into the green. So I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to come through my routine. I'm going to pick my target line. So again, here, center of the green, if we have a quick chat about that. If the pin is where it is today on this green, if it is left of the green please just aim for the center if we want to get good at golf and lower your scores if we aim for the center we've got more chance of hitting that green and obviously giving ourselves a chance a lot of times i'd see people go straight at that flag and if you draw it then potentially you're in the abyss you're left you're short-sided and we haven't got much chance so go through that routine again come in here and even with your practice swings, because you might be somebody, and we do suggest this is as obviously have practice swings, so go through your routine, get your stance correct, arms are nicely underneath your shoulders, and then even on your practice swing, get that club off the ground and just make a swing and really start to catch the ground. You see there, exactly where I've took that divot is just after where the golf ball would be. So again, I've caught the golf ball first, the imaginary golf ball, and then I've took my divot because a lot of people have practice swings. You'll get in here, you get your set up perfect, arms and under your shoulders. Oh yeah, that felt good, that really felt good but we've not got contact with the ground. So if you're practicing something there where you're not getting contact with the ground, it's not what we want to do. So we want to make sure that when you do your practice swings, make sure we're getting contact with the ground. The same if you're chipping, obviously a lot of times I see people with chip shots where they've got the club here in the air. Well, obviously that's practicing you having a low point above the ground and that's gonna encourage us to hit the center of the golf ball. That's not encouraging us to hit down to that golf ball to get that ball going up. So again, now we're onto the golf ball. I set my club, I build my stance, and just before I do it, we're gonna lift that club up into the air and then make our swing. And again there, a nice straight ball flight straight towards the middle of that green. I'm turned through there, bang in the middle of the green. You can see there, a better strike. That's gone a long way compared to that first shot. So this obviously has improved my strike. And if we think about that divot pattern again, right there, I've got that nice little shallow divot. I've caught the golf ball first, but you can see that still came off with a good ball flight. That was nice and penetrating towards my target. So think about it. If you're hitting those shots that aren't reaching the green, they're going too high, you're thinning them, you're topping them, and you're not getting that ball strike or that pure strike that you want, then make sure you give this drill a try, guys, and hopefully that can help you lower your scores and get good at golf.